There are three entities that you can choose from. The first one is what we call a professional service. Nakapangalan lang siya sa'yo. Yung receipt mo, yung DTI mo ay pangalan mo. Yung TIN mo at saka TIN ng business ay iisa lang siya. If you're dealing with medium enterprise or like big companies, they would require a receipt because they are going to tag it as their expense. Therefore, mababawasan ang kanilang income tax. Sa tax rate ng professional services, as of now, 8% yan siya sa declared annual income mo. If your annual income is 1 million pesos, you get 8% of that, 80,000 pesos nun mapupunta sa tax. Second thing is sole proprietorship. You own 100% of the business. While naman ang corporation is may dalawang corporation types sa po tayo ngayon. Pwede OPC, which is what we call one-person corporation. Now, the good thing about a corporation is that yung tax identification number mo personally is different from a corporation. Ibig sabihin, may sarili talaga siyang entity. Yung assets nito, yung liabilities nito is different from yours. The good thing about that is hindi ikaw ang magbabayad nun. Ang magbabayad nun is the customer. Meron ka corporate tax which is as of now, yung rate po natin is around 25 to 30% of your net income. Yung income mo, bawasan mo muna na expense, yung ano yung maiwan, you get 30% of that. Yun yung babayaran mo na tax. Kaya meron tayong tinatawag na net income at saka net income after tax. Important papers for you to have are the following. If you are a sole proprietorship or professional service, kailangan mo ng DTI. Kapag corporation ka, hindi mo na kailangan ng DTI. Ang kailangan mo ay Securities and Exchange Commission, also known as SEC. Then you will have your Certificate of Registration. That's to prove na yung company mo is registered sa DTI or sa SEC. Meron ka receipts, yung mga booklets, and you also have your ITR. Why do I recommend for everyone to get your business legalized, especially kung freelancer ka, is because if in case gusto mo mag-travel, kailangan mo ng documents to prove na you can come back to the Philippines. Para mas mataas yung chance, yung visa application mo ay ma-approve because you have the documents to prove it. Pangalawa, loans. Alam you guys, if you're going to buy a car, if you're going to buy a property, those are so expensive. So that's why you ca you ask help or financial support from the banks. And when you need help from the banks to purchase your car, to purchase your dream house, kailangan mo ng supporting documents. Ano yung supporting documents? Ito yun. Especially yung ITR, yung income tax return po natin. If you want to get your business registered, what you can do is you can ask assistance from your bookkeepers. Meron kasi silang service, services na ina-offer na ganun. Yung bookkeeping, tapos yung accounting, sometimes they have a liaison officer who's going to process documents in your behalf. 